Hello YouTube, this is Piper2381, and for this video I'm showing you guys my NES. I bought this system in Canada, so this is the Canadian version of the NES, but it's really no different from uh, any other NES. So uh, let me start off by showing you... I guess the less important parts. Uh, the first one is the adapter. It's huge and it's very heavy. Um, the plug. And it's made in Japan, which is very cool. You don't get that nowadays. Everything's made in China. Next is the RF switch. It's also made in Japan. So basically you plug in your cable here and then plug this other end into the TV so you could watch the NES on your TV. and the plug that goes into your NES. Um, next is the is a NES cartridge or game. I was lucky enough to find this whole package together with this case. and the manual for um, the game. Now uh, this game came with the system. You get Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers. Again, so this is the Canadian version, so you have English and French. Control buttons. Very easy. Of course, nobody ever used to read these manuals. I used to hate all three of these guys, especially him. He, he used to be really hard to beat. Oh, I used to hate the fish as well and this bluebird or the jellyfish. And then Bowser. Again, you can see over here how you can connect it with the zapper or the gun. Um, yeah, so then you just have the instructions in French, so that's it. And at the back, this is, um, in Canada, Mattel used to, used to distribute this, uh, NES from, like, 1985 to, I think, 1989 or 90. And printed in Japan. 
so now the game cartridge. Um, all Nintendo games used to come with this sleeve. game the Nintendo seal of quality which is really outstanding since the system is probably 25 to 30 years old now and it's still working from 1985 Um, when these games weren't working, I used to blow on this section, or just tap it a bit, and they would work. And then sometimes, just to clean it, you would use some rubbing alcohol. Which is pretty bad now, but, um, it used to work. Okay, so, um, I'll show you the manual now. Um, the control deck manual. Let me just move my NES. There. The NES. Control deck. Now, um, my system, the one I just bought, didn't come with AV cable, so I had to use a spare set I have um, but I didn't really have a problem connecting it once I used the AV cables so it's something to look out for if you want to buy a pair, if you want to buy an NES just have one ready and then over here you can see how you connect it and you have an antenna which was very common back in the 80s for some places. The huge TV, of course. And the instructions on how to connect or uh, put in a video game cartridge. And care and precautions, which nobody would read, of course. Warranty information, 90 day limited warranty. All the remedies in case your um, system wasn't working. And the price guide for um, accessories for the NES. The adapter, the controller was $15. And the address for Mattel Canada in case you wanted something. And, and then over here you have the French side. Yep, and that's about it. 
And now I'll show you the zapper manual, which, again, I didn't read ever. And the French side. So now let me show you the zap, uh, zapper. <clears throat> let me. So this is the plug. It says Nintendo. And let me unwind it from the cord. It's very long. Nintendo There's a piece of plastic right there Really nice sound. Nintendo 1985. Made in Japan. Okay, and now let me show you the controller. The select and start button, A and B. And made in Japan. The plug. And of course, every system came with uh, two controllers. All right, so now I'll show you the NES. The NES was my second video game console. The first one I had was the Atari. So when I got the Nintendo, I was blown away by the graphics and how much fun I used to have in Super Mario Brothers. So uh, let me show you what the NES looks like. On the front, you have this little PC lift, and then you have a sticker in case you need um, help with installation or maintenance. You just call that number. Then at the bottom you have the power and reset button. The top. I guess you have ventilation. And the cord outlet. You just plug it in there the sides, the AV cable outlet, the back, the AC adapter, and then you had to choose a channel, either three or four, 
and the RF switch. Nothing on this side. And the bottom. You have these rubber feet. This little plastic piece you can remove. And now I'll just plug in a, the video game just to show you what it was like. So here is my cartridge and I used to tap it. plug it in like that and then just press power and I would start playing all right so uh, that's it for this video if you want to see pictures, just follow the link to my blog, and I'll see you guys next time.